Hi students, we have a presentation on food chains and different insects and birds in the, in the uh, food chains. My name is Zephyr and my partner is Edwin. We're both high school students at Berkeley High. Hey guys. Okay, so in this presentation, we'll be covering um, basically what a food chain is and then exactly how insects and birds relate to the food chain. So our first topic will be food chains. Here is an example of a food chain. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like a pyramid shape. And at the bottom of the food chain, you'll have the producers, which are basically plants. And they are called producers because they make their own food from them, uh, for themselves from the sun. And then um, as you move up the food chain, um, you get the consumers which and they're called consumers because they consume a level below them so for example a grasshopper will eat those uh producers on the bottom and so that goes on in for, from um from producers to primary consumers then to secondary consumers to then to tertiary consumers and quaternary consumers so we have some examples of what different animals in a food chain eat um, first, we have the praying mantis, which is a secondary consumer, and the predators of the praying mantis, which are um, essentially what eats the praying mantis, are animals like frogs, bats, and large birds. But the praying the praying mantis preys for meaning they eat um, animals like gnats and mosquitoes. And then we have hornets, which um, in the food chain they are tertiary consumers. And some of the uh, animals that eat uh, hornets are nighthawks. And they will prey for small insects, like, um, for example, our first example, the praying mantis. And then we have nighthawks, which are quaternary consumers. So in the, the previous slide, they were at the top of the food chain. Uh, one of the predators of the nighthawks will be booming birds. And then, but the nighthawks will prey for small insects, like um, those hornets. So here is an example of um, how these animals would fit into a food chain. Um, so a nighthawk would essentially be at the top because it um, eats the hornets and then the hornet will eat the praying mantis and the praying mantis will eat the gnats. So, and, but this is also just a small part of a much larger food chain because it would be um, almost impossible to include every single animal in a food chain. So now we have thinking time. And for this, um, our question is, how do you think insects and birds fit into food chains like this? And okay, so here we have our two animals in food chains. And basically we have um, first birds and um, in food chains, birds commonly feed off small insects and their predators can be both large mammals as well as other birds. And so they are commonly secondary consumers. And so since birds eat insects, they are, insects are often primary consumers. And so they usually consume um, dead, uh, dead matter and small bugs. And um, dead matter is just basically uh, dead things. And Insects commonly follow plants in food chains. So now I'm going to pass it to Edwin, who will be covering um, more in-depth analysis on birds and insects. OK, guys, so first we'll look at birds. So some important stuff about birds uh, and how they relate to the food chain is that all of them, all the birds are what they eat, how they eat. It's all connected somehow. Uh, in order to survive and grow older, uh, some birds have to eat smaller birds, and some of the smaller birds have to eat bugs and seeds and plants. Uh, some cool examples include the red-tailed hawk, uh, who loves to hunt for cardinals and pigeons. Uh, and although they mostly eat fruit and seeds, cardinals are also known to eat crickets and beetles, which are some insects that we'll get into later. Uh, the sharp-shinned uh, hawk typically searches for songbirds to eat, and songbirds are known to eat seeds, berries, nectar, and fruit. So next we'll talk about insects. So some important facts about insects in the food chain 
are that insects can eat a wide range of things, uh, including leaves, wood, small animals, and even other bugs. Uh, some insects are actually known as parasites, which is a fancy word meaning that they live in or on other animals and have to rely on them uh, for taking in food in order to survive. Uh, some cool examples include beetles, such as the powder post beetle that loves to eat wood. Uh, large praying mantises that we mentioned earlier can actually eat small frogs and birds. And fleas can, li can live on cats and dogs uh, eating their blood for their food. Thanks for watching. So now for thinking time, uh, think about how birds might hunt and look for prey such as smaller animals. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. Um, we are also part of the club, 10 Bay Birds, and um, we look forward to doing more presentations in the future for our club and um, related to birds and biology. Thanks, guys.